This video is meant for the educational purpose. Please ensure you understand the step before using any script. The goal is to help you to learn how to complete the lab effectively while following the Quick Lab Turns and Services and YouTube Community Guidelines. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In this video, I am going to guide you through the process to complete this lab and help you to understand each step. First, log in with your Quick Lab credentials and once done with that, in the description box of this video, I have shared the GitHub link which will help you to automate some tasks over here. However, I will recommend you to follow along and understand what each command does so you can learn the process effectively. I will encourage to open and review the script to understand each step. So first of all, just me scroll down over here and from here just me open this link in incognito window over here. This will activate your cloud shell. So just me wait for that. And it's finally done. Now just me come back over here and from here you can see this curl command. This command will download the GitHub file from the GitHub to your cloud shell. So just me copy this, come back over here and paste. Hit enter and it's done. Now we have to make this file executable. So for that we have to just me run this chmod command. So just me copy this command over here, come back and paste, hit enter and it's done. Okay, now before running this command, I will recommend you please watch the video first and then perform your lab. Because if you come to the lab instructions and click on the task number one, you can see on each task we have to change the value. And because of that, this lab is a little bit tricky. So first of all, just watch the video and then perform your task. Okay, so copy this command, come back over here, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second. Now here you can see for the task number one, it's asking for the month. Okay, now come back over here, click on the task number one. So for me, the given month is June. That means if you count this in number, so it's six. So you have to just type zero and six. For you, if it's May, then it's zero, five. Okay, so for me, it's June. So I'm going to type zero, six. Make sure that you have to type a number in two digit. Okay, so as a month is zero, six. Hit enter again. Now what is asking? It's asking for the date. So for me, the given date is 10. So I'm going to type that for you. It might be different. So just simply type accordingly that. So hit enter, just simply wait, then click on this authorize button over here. Wait for a second. And it's done. Okay. Now if you just come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number one, you will get a green tick over here without any issue. Now we are on the task number two. Now what is asking? Date of count, three short. So if you just scroll down over here and from here you can see this 150. So copy that and paste over here like this way. Hit enter button, wait for a second and it's done. Now if you just come back over here and click on this check my progress, you will get a green tick over here without any issue. Now we are on the task number three. On the task number three, what is asking? Confirm case three short. So that is 3000. For me, the given number is 3000. So I'm going to choose that. For it might be different. So just me copy that, paste, hit enter. Wait for a second. And it's done. Now what is asking? Start date of the task number four. So just me scroll down over here. And from here you can see start date. So what is the start date? It must be first of April 2020. So what is the meaning of April? So that is 04. Okay. So just me come back over here. Now we have to type the date in this format only. Okay. Let me just increase the text size for you so that you can check properly. Okay. So 2020, then dash, then what is the month? For me, the given month is April. That is 04. For you, it might be different. So just me type accordingly that. So I'm going to type 04 over here. And what is the date? Starting date. So that is 01. Okay. Hit enter button over here. Okay. Now for the end date, you have to just me check the month. So for me, the given month is April. So in April month, we have 30 days. If it's May, then 31st. And then if it's June, then it's the 30 days. Okay. So for me, the given month is April. So I'm going to choose 30. So again, just me type 2020-04-30. Again, I'm saying, please enter the number correctly. Otherwise, you won't get a score. Okay. So just me hit enter button over here. Wait for a second. And it's done. Now, if you just me come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number four, you will get a score without any issue. And if the score is not updating, no need to worry. Wait for a couple of seconds or you can just me move forward with the task number five. Okay. Now on the task number five, what is asking? That three short. So for me, the given number is 12,000. So I'm going to copy this and paste over here. Hit enter. Wait for a second. And it's done. Now, if you just me scroll down and click on this check my progress, you will get a score without any issue.
so task number four also done task number five also done as i said life take time to update the score so don't worry about that okay now what is asking on the task number six so it's asking again the start date and between days okay you can see between days so task number six is very easy just scroll down and from here you can see this is a date one so just me copy this starting date copy that come back over here and here you can see start date of the task number six paste hit enter now for the end date just me copy this date over here come back over here paste hit enter wait for a second and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number six you will get a green tick over here without any issue now for the task number seven what is the percentage for me the given percentage is 15 so i'm going to just simply type that okay for you it might be different so just me type that and hit enter button wait for a second and it's done now if you just scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number seven you will get a green tick over here without any issue on the task number eight again the limit is 15 so i'm going to enter the limit okay 15 hit enter button for you it might be different so we are done with the task number eight also if you just click on this check my progress you will get a green tick over here without any issue okay now on the task number nine what is the last date 10th of june okay so again just simply type 2020 dash what is the meaning of june that means 06 so just me type 06 dash okay and what is the date 10 like this way if you want if you just me scroll down over here and from it you can see this is the exact date which is mentioned over here okay so we already entered that hit enter button over here wait for a second and it's done now if you just me scroll down and click on the check my progress for the task number nine you will get a green tick over here without any issue now task number 10 is also very easy first of all copy this date come back paste hit enter now for the end date copy this date come back hit enter like this way and it's done now if you just come back over here and click on the check my progress for the task number 10 you will get a green tick over here without any issue and that's the way we have to complete this lab if you still have any doubts please do let me in the comment section thanks for watching and have a good day guys Remember, this video is for educational purpose. Please make sure you understand the step and follow the quick lab terms and services and YouTube community guidelines.